My name is Brent Bosser and I'm an AI algorithms engineer at Tonodyne. Today we're going to be showing one of our path planning algorithms made for aircraft navigation. We're still early in development here on path planning, but we've been excited about what we've been able to accomplish so far with this technology. So this algorithm ensures that all our paths conform to the actual capabilities that this aircraft has. It's turn radius, it's possible banking angles, so all the paths that are generated are going to obey the laws of physics. Uh, it's not going to make the aircraft do something it's incapable of doing, such as a turn it can't make. Now there's a legend in the top left corner here, but I just wanted to point out that blue areas are obstacles, areas you want to avoid. The red line is the best path that the algorithm found. Um, and all these black dots are other positions the aircraft could have been in at this point in time had it chosen uh, another path. Some of these paths uh, will result in dead ends, but others will be alternative routes to goal. Uh, now let's show another example without the rest of the tree. Now one really cool thing about our implementation here at Atonadyne is that our stuff can work uh, even when a solution isn't immediately present. So if it can't get to where it wants to for whatever reason, it's not going to immediately give up and tell me it's not possible. Instead, it's going to keep trying to find safe paths while it waits for a path to goal to open up. So here it's inserting a loop into its path because if it went straight to goal, it would collide with this obstacle that's kind of hovering over uh, goal in the bottom left here. So all it needs to do is just do this little loop-to-loop -loop maneuver. It could have accomplished the same thing by slowing down. But let's show a more extreme example where slowing down wouldn't be an option. So here there's a very slow moving obstacle that's blocking it from its goal. And instead of shutting down and telling me what I asked for is impossible, it's just hanging out, biding its time, and once there's a clear path to goal, it's gonna move in. Now I'm not telling it to loiter here, it's figuring out what to do by itself. Now a human could step in and say, this is kind of an odd loiter path, let's try to keep it within a certain area. But what's cool about this is that it's a truly autonomous system. It can keep itself safe and operational without needing a human to step in and save it. And there we go.